Hello and welcome back to part 24 of Bloodborne. In the last part, I had entered another player's world. This is my half health bar and that is my <laughs> that is my partner helping get blood echoes for the team. Well, uh, for him and you're just leeching off of him because you're not fighting uh, with him, so. Yes. Much like a a blood parasite. <laughs> That is another uh, a snake dude. But we should avoid fighting him because that allows a lot of damage. Snaky face. Only lots I of. I wouldn't say snaky face. <laughs> I would say more along the lines of sneaky head. Snake head. Snake eater. <laughs> there he is. No, that that's that's not him. You'll when you see when you see my buddy, you'll he has a name tag above his head. Ah, all right. So, as long as, thankfully, Snakehead did not kill us, so death would eject you from another player's world, but until death do we part. Alright, so these minions of Roska that are here, um, <laughs> are, are, is there any uh, particular lore reason for them? They're just scary. I guess this this game is is reaching depth into the reaching into the depths of the archetypal sources of human fear, especially balls of snakes. <laughs> Which is weird because balls of snakes are uh, balls of snakes are usually incredibly docile towards humans, at least humanoid targets. Medusa heads or something. Medusa oh. heads are incredibly violent, sure, but Medusa heads are not balls of snakes. They're you know human they're humanoids with human wants and emotions. And, you know, that's what makes them monstrous. Yes, it is monstrous to want. <laughs> well, it's not monstrous to want, it's monstrous to act on... It's monstrous to act on destructive wants. Yes. Like turning people to stone, very destructive. Hindering of life. Nah. Uh, changing lifestyle. Uh, honestly, uh, honestly, given what Medusa's, cur uh, what Medusa's curse really yes. is, the, uh, the whole turning the stone thing isn't really... Uh, isn't really something that she gets to control, which is, you know, really sad. Sad Medusa is sad. Hey, buddy. I'm killing lots of stuff. You should come down here and join me for fucking finally. <laughs> is he actually going to join us before we, before we bail out? Yes, yes, yes. We will, we will eventually finally meet the host of the world, just... It's, this is a big map, so it's it should come as no surprise that players will have some difficulty finding each other when the map is especially large like this one. Alright, then. Because it's not just, it's it's also not just the length and the width of the area, it's also line of sight, and as you saw in the woods, there are lots of breakages in line of sight caused by the trees or hidden uh, knolls where some hidden and useful shit can be found. This is a shortcut that leads you right back to the lamppost. We've done it. <laughs> Okay, and this is just, and this is just uh, something uh, that helps him out, right? Um, yeah. So, for example, that's the second shortcut door I opened for this guy. He probably is not even aware that these shortcuts are now open and accessible. He's probably going to try to unlock them himself and then realize that they're already unlocked, effectively pointing that he wasted his time. <laughs> you see, um, you should be. There should be a method for you to actually communicate with him, like. Maybe uh, uh, maybe an actual messenger. Well, the, the the main source of communication between characters who are in the same game is the gesture system, but the gestures aren't very effective if you can't see the person making the gesture. I mean, you could have added him to your uh, your uh, your PlayStation Network friends list and sent him messages saying, "Hey, I opened up some sor shortcuts." That works too, and I have received friend messages in the past from people who are playing this game with me. I, I never accepted them because I don't accept friend requests from strangers. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just more strange than most of the people that you meet on PSN. Gerdad, I would love to have you as a friend on PSN. I don't have a PS4. Dang it. And a PS4 is not anywhere. <laughs> um, is not uh, uh, available to me uh, in any uh, near future scenarios. They are expensive. They are very expensive, yes. You know what else is expensive? Time, when you've come full circle. So we're slaying more Yarnamites, but for why? 
because there's not the, the, because my buddy has still not appeared and I I can't perceive the game. The only way to perceive the game is to fight the boss of the Forbidden Woods, but it's blocked by a nightmare wall that I'm not allowed to traverse because I'm not the host. Ow. I mean, I'm not in any real danger. These guys can't kill me. I'm um, sure they can. It's a Dark Souls game. They can, uh, they can three hit combo you to death. Anyone can three hit combo you to death in this game. I'm rich. <laughs> you are very rich. I mean, uh, 300 souls for each kill in this area means that, assuming that you actually do full clears, uh, you're likely to get, you know, somewhere between three to 9,000 souls. Uh, per run, and since right now a uh, single stat point is only about, uh, is it between four and nine? Well, four, four and nine, what? Oh, oh, between four and nine levels? No, four and nine thousand soul, uh, blood echoes. Oh, yeah, I mean, I've gotten like ten thousand blood echoes since I joined this player's game. Now, but there, there are some resources that are more valuable than your currency or the size of your wallet. It's time. <laughs> It's all about time. But now, thankfully, I can use a shortcut that I had gotten open for this guy by myself. I still don't know. Ah! Ah, I found him! Yes! <laughs> so wait for him to get off the elevator. Yep. <laughs> just wait, wait just a second. He, he is down there. He stepped off the elevator. So now I'm going to call it back up. Because I have dicked over players before by taking their elevator while they were trying to use it. <laughs> this is a so now, hopefully, he is aware that there is some uh, trickery going on here, especially by my hand. Ah! Hello there, my friend. Good to see you, finally. <laughs> he's using the Hunter X. No, that's the Hunter Axe. Oh, okay. Well, it is a pole axe. It's just called the Hunter Axe. It is a pleasure to meet you, my host friend. He did not loot the blood vials. Are we sure that he is not a uh, he is a a friend? No, he he did he did he did the got okay. item gesture. So loot is uh, instant then. L looting is instant. Uh, as an instance, as in there's only. Uh, uh, players cannot steal cannot steal from other players for uh, and when it comes to loot drops. Well, so that that's something I haven't gone over. Is oh we're we're going to explore a secret area real quick. So um, the one and only item that cooperators not, not not the host the host can get any item in the game. But when you're a cooperator, the only item you can get from enemies are blood vials. Oh yes. Um, that's odd. So. Why is that? It's, well, for one thing, it helps me get back blood vials if I've been using them, as would be prudent of a player who has less health and needs to be a little more careful, especially by putting on headgear finally, and getting a little arcane defense to stop the alien invasion. No, these aren't aliens. These are just fungi. No, they, these are aliens. But this isn't a Space Age game. You're right. It's not a Space Age game. It's a horror game. And, and there are games usually do not have aliens in them. But aliens are terrifying. Some aliens are terrifying. They want to probe you. And you say as though probing is inherently a bad thing. It is a bad thing. People are going to be violating well, the Mario. I probe you for information all the damn time, and you don't have a problem with that. Well, that's okay. Well, that's that's a different. That's that. That's the non. That's the non. Invasive type of probing. See, inv oh, it's totally invasive. No, it's not. It's not invasive if I volunteer information. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what is invasive? I'm being held against my will while instruments of investigation and science are entering my body. Why? Who are you? My friend is thinking. Yes, we must press forward. So the two of you are attempting to get over to the boss, yes? Pre yes, yes, which is which is the beauty of this game. We have collectively only one objective. Let's kill the boss together. That's why if I want if I wanted to be, you know, 
if I wanted to be like non involved in what he was doing specifically, I could have just waited by the boss door this whole goddamn time and just waited for him to show up. But I decided instead to explore the realm and keep myself entertained as well. <laughs> As well as, you know, uh, uh, setting up a relatively safe path for us to go slay the boss. Oh, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, le I'm, yes! The path is clear, my friend. Go and fetch your items. They are all yours. And here is where there would be a hunter bell. If I had one! All right. All right. It's party time. It is fucking go time. This boss is a regular party. It is a crowd. Crowd pleaser. So we're going to use fire and bolt paper? Hell yeah. Let's just use everything we have. Okay, he's. this is his first time entering. Okay, so Shadow of Yarno. This is a... Uh... Oh, these are council members of the Blood Church. I'm not sure exactly what the origin is of these creatures. Okay, they don't. Fine. They they're shade council members. Of the just, just, just about. They're they're more like. I wouldn't call these guys healing church members. They're more like guardians. All right. First one is down. Now it's a now it's a fair fight. Two on two. Uh, um, but how fast you took, you took down the first one, especially since it was pretty much only you fighting him. Well, that's the point. See, now, while my buddy is taking out a uh, flamethrower guy, I'm taking out the sword guy. It is a fight against the pyromancer, the sword master, and the projectile fuck you master, who I murdered immediately because he's annoying. So what is, uh, what is, uh, the, uh, the Nadachi spammer's, uh, uh stagger state? The stagger state, well, for this guy, it's basically whenever he swings his sword, you can't, well, you can't really block that attack when he summons snakes from the ground, which is probably one of the most deadliest attacks, by the way. Ow. Are you sure it's not the rising, the rising cut? Because that's going to deal half your health. Well, half of my health, because I got puny man's health. No, no, no Varashka for you. Get that shit out of here. We did it. Yes! Yay. We have slain the minions of Roska. We got 10,000 blood echoes just for being a good helper. Whoosh. Don't tell anyone about this. This is just our little secret. Farewell, my friend. But now you what? have to fight. <laughs> and it was don't. all just a dream. <laughs> okay, so don't... So, you now have to fight the Shadows of Yarnum on your own. That's right. I'm back in my world, and none of that progress had anything to do with my own game progress. I'm right back where I got hooked up. Okay, that is fucking retarded. <laughs> I mean, the minions, the minions, of uh, uh, the Vraska minions and the, uh, and the, uh, and the Yarnumites are respawning. I'm okay with that, because that's going to be fine. However, you should not have to refight the boss. No, but I, but I do have to refight the boss. See, I know, but you <laughs> should. You you See, already. Uh... So so here so here's the thing. Um, the Forbidden Woods is the first area in the game that allows you to ring the small resident bell before you fight the boss. In in um, in Old Yarnum, in the Cathedral Ward, and even in Central Yarnum, you have you usually have to kill the boss before you can elect to become a cooperator. However, because there's a difficulty spike with the Forbidden Woods, I said, ah, oh, fuck it, let's just let players connect to each other freely. But this upcoming fight is against three humanoid targets, each using each using different weapon styles. Yes. Without some significant aid, you are likely to be boned. You you are. <laughs> You are quite correct. The Shadows of Yarnum is a handful of a fight when you're fighting them by yourself. I'm not saying it's impossible to kill them by yourself, because that's how I killed them the first time after dying on them like 30 times in a row, but it is possible. Dang it, I missed. Well, of course you missed. You barely put any gun in it. I'm not even sure how you're supposed to control the velocity. It just goes. Oh, maybe now I can do it. <laughs> here, come here, buddy. I got something to show you. <laughs> And now it fires too slowly because you've activated it. <laughs> Alright, and in the next part, I take it we're preparing to do the Shadows of Yarnum. Hell right? yes, gonna fight him 
for reals this time. 